everyone! Welcome to vlog number 9 on Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I've got a new hairstyle for you! Yeah! <laughs> this, uh, I literally just think of, it, think of it on the spot. So, here you go. There's a side view, another side view. <laughs> I don't know if you thought I was creative or not, but you can do a lot with braids. So I've been thinking like curly one week, straight one week. Curly, straight. Alrighty, but on to what I'm actually going to talk about. I got a chance to go to E3 on Tuesday, yay! So I did some light coverage, couldn't take the Joe man with me, so I had to do it all by myself and I just used an iPhone camera. <laughs> Shh, don't judge. Anyway, so I'll be showing you some OBS capture of the E3 coverage. And also Q&A, so why don't we go ahead and get started. Alrighty, here's the start of my E3 coverage, the parking lot. I know what you must be thinking, but I always take a picture of where I'm parked because I tend to get lost a lot and um, I did get lost after. So thankfully, I showed a security guard this photo and they're like, oh, it's that lot. I'm like, Phew. otherwise I would have had to walk around the entire like West Hall and all that. Okay, moving right along. This is uh, the NVIDIA booth. Uh, it was outside, it was not actually inside in the area of the uh, E3. And I saw this really, really huge um, Titanfall like uh, structure and I really, really, really wanted it. <laughs> but uh, sadly, it was not for sale. Okay, and let's move on. This is when I went inside. These are some of the uh, main games that were featured there, like Kingdom Hearts, Lego Batman 3, Final Fantasy 14, which I actually got to try. This is the toy that I saw everywhere. I even got a balloon of it. It was really cute, but I'm not really sure what that's for. <laughs> I'm sure you guys do know though. Alrighty, moving right along. And by the way, this was huge. This is a ceiling, okay? Ceiling of the huge hall that uh, E3 was held in. And uh, this was a really cool Evolve monster and uh, the game. And I just love, look at the detail in that. Don't you love these like huge statues that they erect in uh, E3 just to show you like, see how cool our game is. But I do have some footage to show you too. So one second, obviously when I saw this game on the big screen, I was like, good grief. The graphics are so clean and crisp and all that. So let's go ahead and play some of the footage. So Evolve is a first person shooter and it just it looks so sick. I wanted to play it but the lines were so freaking long and I only had a few hours there. So I just ran around looking at all different types of like games and what they had to offer. And then there is Borderlands. I've never actually played Borderlands but I hear it's good so it might be kind of fun to check it out in the future. World of Tanks, yeah! I saw this huge tank just hanging like from the sky, not the sky, I'm sorry, from the building, ceiling. <laughs> and I just, I love all the detail that they like put into creating these events for us gamers and for the vendors. And let's keep moving along. And then I ran into this retro area, it was really cool. I remember when I was like six, seven or eight, I used to play Bubble Bobble and I was so bad at it, but I still wanted to play because I don't like to give up even if I'm really bad at something and just I just took a little picture of the arcade game and yes I got to play this Jurassic Park it's like the one from um oh was that Dave and Buster's yeah um except you know this one I don't have to pay any coins and it's a lot harder to shoot the dinosaurs in this one I'm not sure why maybe because the screen was so small but I really enjoyed playing this and then oh my god do you guys even know what this is these look so old it's like way before my time but who knows those of you who do know you probably got a kick out of this and pac-man old school there were so many old school games there. it was really awesome and then these are like very tiny they are like maybe the size of my head maybe <laughs> and um, they're just like these tiny little arcade machines that you could play Pac-Man Pac on and Frogger and uh, what is that, Galaxy? Uh, yeah, but anyway, I just thought that was really cool. I mean, this was the original Game Boy, right? I don't know, I might be wrong, but wow. I mean, talk about downsizing. 
Anyway, moving right along. This is a keyboard! I was like, what the heck is that? The keys are like so separated and this is a standard QWERTY, but it looks like most of the keys I need are here. Sort of, but yeah, look connected to the game, but this is crazy in television. How old is this? Anyway, here is uh, an Atari system. I had a chance to try it when I worked at The Egg actually, but uh, it's still cool to see like an, a real life Atari at E3. Um, and I didn't actually see any gameplay for Assassin's Creed Unity, but I just thought I'd take a photo of it because I've never actually tried this Assassin's Creed series, but I think I could give it a shot. Although if it's stealth, then I probably would suck at it quite a bit. And so I saw Sonic Boom. This is where you could see photo line starts here. I didn't really want to take a photo with it, but I just thought I'd take a photo of the awesome looking characters from Sonic Boom. And then Lego Batman 3. I kind of want to play this because I really, really, really like the Lego movie. What the heck is that? Oh, it's Martian Man. That's right. What's his name again? Man Hunter. But anyway, I really like Miss Martian, his supposed niece. And I love The Flash and Wonder Woman and Superman's kind of like really way OP and Batman is way too depressing, but he is funny. Alrighty, moving right along. And this was Final Fantasy XIV. This is the MMO version. I was in love with Final Fantasy 1 to 9, but just kind of gave up on it after 10 2. I did play 13, but it was way too linear. I mean, I really miss the times where I could just explore the world with an airship, you know? Instead of just follow this yellow brick road till you get to the main boss. And I'm like, nope. But whatever, <laughs> I'm hoping like the uh, next Final Fantasies might resemble even slightly the previous Final Fantasy. And yeah, this is the game that I waited like 30 minutes in line for um, because that was the shortest line I could find. <laughs> I mean, there were like other lines, but I knew I would have to wait like an hour or something. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of time here. I mean, if I could have gone all three days, then yes, but I could only go that one day. So mm. basically what you do is you form teams of six and then you take down this dragon boss, and I have a video of it so you can see. And um, the mage and uh, the casters will hit the head while I believe tank hits the tail. And you have two healers on your team too, which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, we couldn't beat the boss. Of course, I'm the black mage. I'm a caster, so I'm like, dibs on mage! I didn't want to be a priest because, I mean a healer, because I don't want to kill everybody by not healing them. It was really, really, really fun. And the graphics are really good. And, and then I ran around taking photos of random people. I was like, hey, you look kind of cute. Can I take a photo of you? Not being a creep or anything. But I'm a girl, so it's cool. And then there, I saw Miku, yay! She is everywhere. I mean, doesn't she ever get old? I mean, I've seen her at conventions. I mean, I haven't gone to anime conventions, but I've seen photos of her at conventions, like a lot of conventions. And although, what do you guys think? Should I try dressing up as her one day? I think it might be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, and then I went to the Razor booth. I actually didn't see like Cooler Master or Corsair or Fractal or um, what are some other brands, NZXT or... I was thinking this is just purely gaming. So the real... I mean, I saw Alienware, but I haven't really done any products for them before, but I did see one vendor that I really want to talk to, which is Razor. So this might look familiar to you because I did a video, the H440 case video. Basically, they took NZXT's case and branded it with Razor. And then you'll see Razor like uh, LEDs inside and whatnot too. So that I thought that was cool. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I just did a video on this like weeks ago. And I got to talk to the product manager and I don't know, we'll see if they are willing to send me stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. And this is Super Smash Bros 3DS. And by that time my feet kind of really hurt. So I just took this picture of this random dude or chick, I don't know. And then I took a picture of the console section and I'm not a console player. So I'm like, I'm, I'm really not interested. I mean, maybe I should have went inside, but I was so tired. But anyway, so that is the end of my light coverage of E3. Alrighty, so let's get to Q&A. What have I got for you today? So Aditya Gosh, I think that's how you pronounce it, he asked, After seeing your experiences on your trip to Italy, I was wondering what other countries would you like to visit? Would India be one of them? 
Yes, India would be one of them. I happen to love Indian food. <laughs> no, but seriously, I would like to see all the structures there, you know, the art, the culture, of course, the food. Um, and I would also love to go to Spain. That's actually really high up on my list. I want to go to Egypt, you know, I want to see the pyramids. You know, I just, I want to travel the whole wide world, but I can't afford it, clearly. I'm not even going to travel this year, I don't think anyway. But um, eventually, yes, if I can afford to, I would love to travel everywhere. I still haven't been to Germany. I would love to go there. I heard they have great great sausages. Don't, don't you think what it, whatever you're thinking in your head right now, you know what I mean. <laughs> I haven't even been to um, a lot of the states. I've been to New York. I've been to, I haven't been to Texas. I'm going to Texas because I hear they have like the best barbecue and I swear that is the only reason I want to go. I mean, sure, there are other reasons to go, but I just really want to try their barbecue like Chicago pizza. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I guess, I mean, there's just a number of places I want to go. I want to see the caves, you know, I want to see New Zealand. Yes, I want to go to New Zealand. Why? Lord of the Rings. That's right. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, on to the next question. So, oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Samus. I think it's Samus, right? Not Samus. Samus1677. You asked, do you play Diablo 3? I did when it first came out. I maxed out my mage, went to Inferno, didn't complete it. It's just, you know, unlike WoW, what I didn't like about it is it's very linear. It's like, oh, you play the story, okay. Now play the story all over again in hard mode. And then play it all over again in, you know, um, Inferno mode. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> but um, the main thing is just that... Uh, you know, it was hard to get good weapons, especially legendary and armor. And the auctions, forget about that. It's like impossible. It's like a catch-22. It's like you, to further advance, you need better armor and weapons, right? But it's really, really hard to get the drops. So I'm like, F it. <laughs> but I may go back because I've heard there have been patches to make it maybe a little easier, more drops, things like that. So yeah, I, I do want to go back to Diablo 3. Um, now, Portentous Lad. Yeah, I remember that name. I've definitely answered one of your other questions. But last but not least, your third question, brown coats or alliance? I think probably brown coats, right? It's much better than the purple bellies. <laughs> yes, Firefly. I love Firefly. I happen to love Summer Glau, so I will watch pretty much anything that she's in. Like Dollhouse, um, Sarah Chronicles, Chronicles of Sarah, you know, the Terminator Chronicles, and so on and so forth. I think she's great. She kicks ass. I mean, didn't she like take ballet growing up? And she's just so calm. Have you ever seen her frazzled? I don't even think I've ever seen her frazzled, not even a movie. She's always just like, Summer Glau, super cool girl. You know what I mean? Kick your butt. Yes. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, yes. And actually, I didn't finish answering that. Firefly. I freaking loved it. I'm just sad that it got canceled after the first season. It's like, come on. All of Joss Whedon's stuff gets, like, cut off prematurely. I mean, he has some really good ideas. I really, really like Dollhouse. I mean, that was two seasons. But wasn't there something else that he did that got canceled right away? I don't quite remember. I might have just, like, if I say Joss Whedon uh, series, I'll be like, okay. Let's just wait till three seasons comes out. <laughs> I mean, come out. All right, uh, so um, moving right along, Brig Guy 1027. Are you allergic to fish as well as other various seafoods that most people are allergic to, like crustaceans, mollusks? Um, I haven't gotten an allergy test yet, but I'm pretty sure shrimp and possibly clams and, you know, anything that carries a shell. But I would like to get um, a legitimate, you know, allergy test done. So I was thinking, you know, I heard from this Thai guy from this restaurant that there's this like Chinese medicine person and they can test your bloodstream or something for like whatever you're allergic to. And then they have these special pills, you just take one. And I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about like things like, uh, not Benadryl, I guess Benadryl, or something, or Claritin. No, no, but it's like something different. It like, uh, it writes your blood flow, you know, because your blood flow has these blockages or something like that, and that's how you're allergic. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. But yes, um, if that can help me, I will buy a whole box of them and pig out on 4,000 calories of boiling crab goodies. Well, that wraps it up for a quick look at E3 as well as Q&A. So if you have other questions, please go ahead and make a comment on the newest vlog video so I can scrub through those for the next Q&A in the vlog. 
Alrighty, um, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. And please comment because I love hearing what you have to say. And, you know, I do learn things from you guys too and vice versa, I believe. <laughs> also, please don't forget to follow me on social media, which is uh, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Food Lover Twitter, and twitch.tv slash whaletune, where I game weekly with Tim. Also, please don't forget to donate. It'll really help expand this channel and help me possibly build PCs in the future, so that's always exciting. Um, also, there's something special happening Monday, so tune in for Monday's video. Alright guys, I'll see you next time!